Okay, hey everybody, this is day two of making the hinge assembly for the cab roof. <clears throat> As you can see, I decided on using, it's about an eight inch long piece of aluminum. It's six hundred thousandths of an inch thick in this direction. I forget exactly, about three quarters of an inch, something like this direction. But then I, I marked it and I cut it and sanded it to fit the contour of the cab roof <clears throat> and the idea here is I'm going to basically copy the Mikado guy thank you whoever you are and thanks for Ty for sending me the link to that photograph I've cut two little blocks of aluminum here's the right one I'm thinking I'm going to contour this oh, here we go off so that it also matches the shape of the roof and it'll tuck up a little bit you know it's not extremely necessary to do that but I've got enough space here to do a little bit of fitting what this this block will be basically the pivot block there'll be a pin I'll bore a hole in the bottom of this bar and then the pivot block will be screwed from the back side of the cab front It'll fit up in here. Screws will come from the back side of the cab front. I may need to uh, uh, flatten out, mill out the flange on the inside to make clearance for the screws. So this bar will sit up here and um, it'll act as a pivot point. And it needs to be, the one thing that's hard to show in the video, I've got this bar spaced out about an eighth of an inch from the, the 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 front of the cab that'll give it pivot room clearance for the bottom of the bar here and I can round it as necessary but <clears throat> the uh, the how can I describe this you want the the cab roof to be able to be further out from the cab face if it was pivoting very close to the cab face then that limits the amount of material you can have on the back side of your your hinge bar. I hope that makes sense. And if you look in the photographs of the Mikado guy, you can see he's rounded his. I'm not sure if he allowed for any space there. So a little bit of space will save a little trouble in the long run. So I've got a bar on either side. These babies are they're about <clears throat> excuse me, 860 thousandths thick. You know, roughly three quarters of an inch, or a little bit larger than that. Um, but they're just cut from a piece of scrap that I milled square. I've got a right one and a left one to place in. There we go. So the left one, hey, 805 thousandths tall. Let's see if I can even read that writing. 857 thousandths wide. You know, it's not critical at all. Slightly bigger than three quarters of an inch square and just perfect thickness to match. And I'll just contour that one and I'll bore holes in either then I'll use some sort of a, a different type metal, probably a brass pin for the pivot point. So that's day two. I'll post all these up after I get done making the hinge and everything works satisfactory. I don't want to mislead anybody, but I thought it would be helpful to kind of capture some of the progress. So thanks again for watching, and I will keep you posted.